Hi everyone, we are from St. Thomas' College, Mount Lavinia. Today, we are going to talk about how science relates to music. Today, we are going to talk about two main topics. Number one, how music works according to physics. Number two, the biological effects of music. Let's talk about our first topic. How music works according to physics. Frequency. Vibrations over a particular period of time. That's the main component of music. When the frequency is high, the pitch of music is also high. And when it's low, the pitch is also low. That's the basic theory. Every musical instrument works according to that theory. We can divide the instruments into three groups based on physics. Number one, string instruments. Number two, percussion. Number three, wind instruments. How a string instrument work? Most of the string instruments consist of four or more strings. All the strings are made in different gauges. We'll take the guitar as an example. When the gauge of a string gets thickened, the frequency gets low. Then it produces a low note. When the gauge gets less thicker, it produces a higher note. And when the strings gets longer, the frequency gets low and it will produce a low note. And when the string gets shorter, the frequency gets high and it will produce a high note. Let's go for a demonstration. The string is thicker, the sound is low. The string is less thicker, the sound is high. Let's have a look at some string instruments. Now let's talk about percussion instruments. The sound of a percussion instrument is produced by a velum. When the velum is tight, the frequency gets high and it will produce a higher sound. And if it's not tight, the frequency gets low and it will produce a low sound. When the area of the velum is larger, frequency gets low and it will produce a low sound. When the area of the velum gets smaller, the frequency gets high and it will produce a high sound. Let's go for a demonstration. The velum is tight, so the sound is high. The velum is less tight, so the sound is low. Let's have a look at some percussion instruments. Now let's talk about wind instruments. The sound of a wind instrument is produced by an air column. When the column is shorter, the frequency gets high and it will produce a higher sound. When the column is longer, frequency gets low and it will produce a low sound. Let's have a look at some wind instruments. This is how the instruments work according to physics. Now we'll talk about our second main topic. The biological effects of music. Physiologically, music has a distinct effect on many biological processes. It inhibits the occurrences of fatigue as well as changes the pulse and respiration rates. External blood pressure levels and psychogalvanic effect. However, music is not limited to changing the body's responses in only one direction. The nature of music influences the changes as well. Pitch, tempo and melodic pattern all influence music's effect on mood and physical processes. For instance, high pitch, acceleration of rhythm and ascending melodic passages are all generally felt to increase the anxiety and tension and sometimes even lead to loss of control and panic. 
For example, the makers of arcade and video games commonly exploit this effect by increasing tempo and pitch on ascending melodies during a time of high pressure and necessity of precision in performance to succeed. Inversely, music with low pitch generally produces a calming effect. Slow tempos and descending melodies often cause feelings of sadness and depression. Some explain this effect on the body by comparing the music to a mirror of the body's motor responses. When a person feels depressed, he moves slowly, while when he is anxious, his heart and respiration rates race. Furthermore, music has been found to produce relaxed mood and stress reduction, making it a possible way to accommodate coping with pain and anxiety. Thank you so much. Hope you guys liked it.